Welcome to the greatest spectacle in live entertainment. Michael Cole here with Corey Graves and Byron Saxton, ready to kick off the action here tonight. Make no mistake about it, sports entertainment is alive and well. Let's see who's up first. Formerly El Hijo del Fantasma. Now he is Santos Escobar. The leader of Legado del Fantasma. Escobar is a highly dangerous human being. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, after months of mysterious abductions and attacks in the NXT parking lot, on, nobody go. suspected El Hijo del Fantasma. El Hijo del Fantasma couldn't do that. Santos Escobar did it. Elite lucha skill, but proved that he's a mastermind too. Raul Mendoza, Joaquin Wild reaching new heights under Escobar. This superstar possesses the smoothest Tope Suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. And you know, all powered with bad intentions. And his opponent, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane! Not to be taken lightly. Better be careful, Saxton. You might be mistaken for a supervillain. They could call you Chrome Dome. What's up with that? Does this guy really think he's a superhero? Of course he does, Michael. But oh, that was ugly. Catching the competition completely unprepared. Didn't even see it coming. Looks like the referee is motioning to these superstars trying to get them to the ring. Yeah, come on. Let's get this match started the right way. Well, I for one don't see anything wrong with this. Santos Escobar, second generation heir to a Lucha Libre legacy. A man who tore up his mask and is trying to create a tradition of his own. That's right, Cole. Santos Escobar put it all on the line when he rejected the mask. He wants to create a new tradition that puts the spotlight on victories and modern excellence. Thus far, it's paid off. The leader of Legato Del Fantasma. Uh-oh, this isn't gonna end well for someone. Going up top. Take a good look at a real-life Titan, folks. And the DDT! Black drop. Escobar able to dodge that. Santos. Quick exchange of counters there. Set him over the top rope. And there's going to be more, Michael. There's going to be more. This is in the wheelhouse. Uh... Suicide dive. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. find a way to get out of this. Yeah. Oh, bang! Face first! Oh. Re-enters under the ropes. Oh. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? 
And another counter. Big elbow drop. No drop. He may be in a bad way here. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. And Santos is showcasing his unique Lucha Libre arsenal. And he's being worn down. Looks like this guy was able to weather the hurricane. How's that for a pun, Saxton? I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. And he sends him into the corner. Big right hand to a dazed opponent. What are they thinking here? No way. Gutbuster! And that's an example of a new and vicious tradition Escobar wants his name to carry. And the Hurricane can't stop any offense coming his way. Hurricane has to trust his instincts at this point. And Escobar isn't looking helpless anymore. Escobar hoping to start a blitz of his own. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. as close to three as you could possibly get without the bell ringing. The Hurricane keeps him away. And Hurricane fends him up. Bats with a punch to the gut. Banging back with their own cover. He fends off the attack. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. Comes back. No. Here it comes. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Here is your winner, Santos Escobar! Gressel, perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 532 pounds. Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. on the tag division. Tag team action. 
action underway. Truly one of the hallmarks of sports entertainment. That's right, Cole. As a former tag team champion myself, I have to say these matches hold a special place in my heart. Ooh, stiff headbutt. Look at this straight. My goodness. Looking for an early pin. And a good strong kick out there. This match is not going to end so soon. Yeah. Oof. Where's the haymaker? And just like that, he sent crashing to the floor. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Farouk gets reversed. This 
moment is great. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. Impressive victory for the team, especially JBL, who really helped put this one away. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. Seven feet, three inches tall, 400 pounds. A walking skyscraper has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds, Omar. We're going to talk about how dominant Omos has been already in his WWE career. This is a man who won the Raw Tag Team titles in his debut match, which took place at WrestleMania. And in the days since, Omos has scored major wins against superstars the caliber of Riddle, even his former tag team partner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Gentlemen, just take a look at the size of this behemoth. It is a scary, frightening sight looking up at a man the size of Omas. comes the horror. Coming to get you, Saxton. Uh, I think I gotta run to the bathroom. You do that normally, Byron. And his opponent from the bottomless pit, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman! Saxton, my sources tell me that after the match tonight, Boogeyman's going right back under your bed. Oh, no, he's not. I'm locking my door. A very erratic and eccentric superstar. I've always wondered, guys, do you really think those worms taste good? Why don't you go ahead and sample them, Saxton? You let us know. Uh, I'm good. Boogie, he's over here. Oh, look, no, turn around, Boogie. No, quiet, Corey, quiet. Just look at the seven-footer Omas. 
They broke the mold when they made this man, Cole, and then he broke it again just for good measure. He doesn't have a lot of experience yet, but it has been a long time since we had someone with this much raw potential and this much raw power in WWE. One of the most unique athletes we've ever had, looking to get his reps in and build a name for himself. Well, I hope he isn't afraid of worms, because he's got to deal with the freaking Boogeyman. Yeah, and if you think his entrance is unsettling, wait till you see him in the ring. Boogeyman is as athletic as he is terrifying. And Corey, he's pretty darn terrifying. It almost doesn't matter who he's facing. This has got to be a walk in the park for Omos, right? Well, you'd think that, but here's the thing. Omos is still very, very new to WWE, and his natural ability is only going to take you so far. He needs to use what brought him to the dance, but underestimating a veteran opponent is a recipe for humiliation. Omos looks to avoid. Still in it. And he denies Omos. Reversal on top of reversal. Really just laying it in. And the boogeyman is on the downside of things now. Omos using that natural ability and has prepared himself for his more experienced opponent. Going to be tough to topple the Colossus tonight. Momentum isn't completely out of Omos's side just yet. That might be what gets Omos out of danger. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Well, this is not good. Into the turnbuckle. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is. Rips the pride. to the kidneys from behind. Gets him with the counter. Sleeper slam! <laughs> Things went from bad to worse. Yeah. Boogeyman retaliates. Let's look back at that amazing action. Here is your winner, Omos! This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was... Big time hammer fist. Good golly, Miss Molly. Just like that, Braun gets pounced on. Caught with a big boot. On the mark. Look out. The adrenaline is pumping. And the WWE Universe is on his side.
rested on. The following contest is a fatal four-way match and is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 450 pounds, the man they call You are looking at one of the most athletically gifted big men in the history of this business. An All-American college football standout, spent time playing professional football. The Mastodon possesses the size of a lineman with the speed and agility of a running back. Yeah, and he'll throw you around like he's the quarterback. What a dominant specimen this man Vader truly is. A Mastodon's on the loose, about to trample over everyone in WWE. My advice for any Vader opponent, run. Here comes the two-time, two-time! Oh, and introducing the challenger from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 251 pounds, Booker T. Who says to gain respect, you gotta earn respect. Well, Booker T has lived by that motto, which is why he is a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and one of the most decorated athletes the industry has ever known. You know, Booker knows success as both a tag team legend and a multi-time world champion. But Cole, let us not forget that he is our king and the ring is Booker T's court. And Saxton's out here to be the court jester. The madman from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, has arrived. And introducing the challenger from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack has proven on multiple occasions he will go to any lengths to win a match. Yeah, you don't win or lose against Cactus Jack. You simply do your best to just try to survive. Cactus Jack will not stop fighting once the bell rings, that's for sure. Cole, I doubt Cactus Jack will even wait for the bell to ring. Cactus Jack just wants to fight. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't come over here. Hey, Saxton, bang, bang. Oh, this is going to be good. Yes, welcome to Swerve's house. And introducing the champion, representing the Brotherhood from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Lots of swagger, but also lots of discipline. Yeah. Coming from a military family with time spent in the Army Reserves himself. A true student of the game even hosts his own wrestling podcast on the WWE Network. Don't sound so excited, Michael. Don't give anyone a podcast. You are never invited back. And I'm going to have your episode deleted, Saxton. Forty-five years of history behind that, the United States Championship. There is a certain excitement that a United States Championship match has. It's hard to nail down exactly what it is. I know what you mean by when they're defending or challenging for the U.S. title. Superstars seem to go the extra mile. 
like this is where we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chill... Middle rope. Oh, that soul drop kick. Hit the target. And he goes for the pin. as Tori Moore fuel on his fire right now. Cactus on the receiving end. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Strong right. might be starting to set in. Oh, I need him. Yes. That's a Swerve just continues to mount offense. Can Booker withstand his surge against him? He's able to kick out before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Seemed to be pretty easy. What a shot. And Swerve had it scouted. Oh, foot just stomping down. Great reversal. Oh, what a wind up. The challenger eating up some damage. Snapmare. Oh, 
Swerve Scott. Now that is why they're the champ. You gotta believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. From the top with a splash. For the win. There's two. And Captain Jack is back to the line. Has been is eliminated. And this one might be headed ringside. What a blow. Carefully measured right. He's back into the ring. And back in the ring we go. Running Neely. He's going for the pin. This could be it. No, he gets the shoulder up. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this rep even count the pin? Absolutely spiked. DDT. Face Buster plants him. And Booker T escapes danger. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. He saw it coming, taking advantage. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. We've seen that look before. Slip. Snapmare. Looking to the side of the neck. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Makes a cover. Two. And it's Super Team has been eliminated. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. This place has come unglued. Rightfully so. Oh, the rear super kick. From behind, nasty. And Vader is being taken apart here. Yes, Ward is executing his game plan. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from Ward. He'll slide back in the ring now. Swerve taken to the top rope. He has a right where he wants him. Blast off. Oh, stomp him away. The right kick. The fire has been lit inside of Swerve. Looks like Vader's having trouble generating any sort of defense. in the corner. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. Looks like he has something. Look at this. just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gas? I think there's still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. How is the challenger still in this match? Vader escapes the attack. Vader feels the pressure. They're gonna lock it in here. Camel clutch 
dropped in. Oh, body is not meant to bend that way. For the love of God, submit. Fight again. Tap out. Yeah. Vader has got to like the word champion next to his name. That was a match for the ages. Fatal four ways always deliver the goods, but you can only see matches like that once in a decade or so. Here is your winner and the new WWE United States Champion, the man they call Vader! You can just feel it. Their championship dream has become reality. What a stunning moment. These superstars gave everything they had, but the new champ wanted it just a little bit more. the largest competitor in the history of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! Yokozuna is a multiple time WWE champion in 1993, the winner of the Royal Rumble match. You would be hard pressed to find anyone as truly unstoppable as Yokozuna. Well, unfortunately for his opponent, all of Yokozuna's weight and power is about to be focused on them. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Loved by many, resented by some, but respected by all. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Yeah, even his detractors have to admit Cena's dedication. He never gives anything less than his very best. From where I'm sitting, he is the greatest WWE superstar in history. Cena is a superstar in every sense of the word. In fact, he was referred to by Mr. McMahon as the Babe Ruth of WWE. Yeah, Cena is a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination.
John Cena has a clear message for his competition tonight. You can't see me. What does that even mean? It means they aren't on Cena's level, Corey. They can't compare to his achievements and abilities. Frankly, I think he's right. John Cena is the all-time greatest WWE superstar. He's got a big challenge, literally, in Yokozuna. There aren't many superstars who can combine power with agility the way this man can. Yokozuna truly one of a kind in the analogs of WWE history. He isn't going to run laps around the ring anytime soon, but he is quick and he is ruthless. Even among legends, Yokozuna's resume stands out. Corey, how do you counter the unique sumo style Yokozuna possesses? You have to stop Yokozuna from making this his kind of fight. Because if you let Yoko run on the base, you won't stand a chance. Oh, a numbing blow to the chest. Oh my gosh, what impact. He's taking some good hits. Now that's using your head. Just malicious. Insulting. Oh, kick finds it. Oh, what a headbutt. Oh, this is the superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. The shortcut presents itself. You better take it.
Fabian Eichner, Marcel Barthel, this is Imperium. Alongside Alexander Wolf and Walter, they fight for all that is sacred in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 440 pounds, Fabian Eichner and Marcel Bartel. Imperium! Imperium stands for all that is sacred while fighting in the ring. All right, that's it. Imperium has little patience for superstars Woo! who like to have fun or apparently show passion. Like those superstars, you're wasting your time. Fabian Eichner, a former cruiserweight standout who added a solid 30 pounds of muscle. Bartel, a second generation superstar who trained in wrestling and boxing as a child. Yeah, both these men standouts in their home countries. Eichner in Italy, Bartel in Germany, and they've become even more successful in NXT UK, NXT, and the WWE. And they consider every match a test of their pedigree. team completely on the same page such incredible teamwork they've shown i can't wait to see them compete Opponent off the ropes. Back 
Pedraza. The stomp in every single part of his body. He drops the leg. Kane gets that set right back to him. encounter thus far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's going to end. Last line. Looking for the victory. Two. What a kick out. Thought he had it. you got to be kidding me. What a match. What a match. Bartel escapes the attack. Another reversal. Eye for eye. <laughs> what power! Oh, no. Good night. Could be over for Bartel. Is it enough? The cover! Two, two, three! And the victory! We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Taker and Kane, the brothers of destruction. The Undertaker closes the door for the team.
Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. A once-in-a-lifetime talent, here comes China. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Redondo Beach, California, the Knight Wonder of the World. I just hope we see that devastating powerbomb tonight from the ninth wonder of the world. I would give anything to watch you suffer that earth-shaking gorilla press slam, Saxton, from the ninth wonder of the world. That doesn't sound like a fun time at all. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. From a manager to a groundbreaking competitor, you cannot talk about the greats in the women's division without talking about Trish Stratus. And all of her opponents leave the same way, Stratus 5. of Liss, one of the most meanest and dangerous superstars of any size. She's also highly intelligent, Saxon, and wouldn't appreciate you calling her the most meanest. Don't tell her. It's redundant. I never get tired of being graced by the goddess's presence. And there's something special in the air these days when the SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line. Here we go with a huge title defense for the SmackDown Women's Championship in this. Struggle to be the last one standing. Elimination rules with China, Trish Stratus, and Alexa Bliss. Only the right to be called a champion would bring a competitor to the most intimidating structure in all of WWE. I've heard those pods you wave might as well be called emotional encapsulation pod because if you are fearful, you become more fearful. If you are enraged, you become more enraged. Then your pod opens and you either burst out or cower away. Kick lands. The springboard attack fails to land. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, what kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a disqualification match? A ruthless. 
ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon.
Now might be a good time to regroup. Rethink your plan. Alexa thought she had this one in hand, but now she's trying to put this one away. Throwing her down and roll up. And a kick out of only one. How have we not claimed a winner yet? You gotta believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. with an attack on China. Kick with precision. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Tilt the world. Tilt the world into the small package. Cover. One. Two. Out of the world. You gotta believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. Alexa gets out of the way. From behind, two point, shoulders down, for the win! The challenger fending off the two count. I'm much shocked that she kicked out. You and I both, Byron. She sent flying into the corner. Oh, Bliss counters. Strike punch! How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this? Lift off! China out of harm's way. A counter answered by another counter. Sequence of reversals there. Oh man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. She adjusts it and reverses it. part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. This is just ruthlessness personified. Just brutalizing her opponent here. What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. Oh, man. Alexa gets reversed. Fighting back with a counter. Alexa Bliss may have her where she wants her. DDT firing on all cylinders. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. Taking flight. Body splash. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are at a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. Insult to injury! From the top! Twisted Blitz! Another one bites the dust to the champ. Got it! And the champ adds to their legacy. Triple Tets always deliver three times the action, and that one was no exception. Take a look. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. As exciting a triple threat match as we've had here in WWE in recent memory. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but you have to keep your head on a swivel in a match like this. And our winner did just that.
Maybe the best tag team in WWE history? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 516 pounds. Brett the Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil Neidhart, the Hart Foundation. A true Hall of Fame tag team when you look at Brett the Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Introducing the champions at a combined weight of 448 pounds. They are the WWE United States Tag Team Champions. Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander, the Brotherhood. Remember guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight, might just be the night the title changes hands. Some formidable pairs have five for this title. Championship dreams will be realized and championship dreams will be dashed in this team competition. On one side we see Bret Hart and Jim the Anvil Neidhart. And across the ring we see Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. The champs are not going down without a fight, but the challengers really seem ready for the challenge tonight. I think it's going to be a dugout brawl on another level because neither of these teams want to go home without the title. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Yeah. Oh, nasty stop to finish it off. Get him into the corner. Sudden cut off from Brett. Double chicken wing up and down. Oh, what a good buster. The challenger's looking shaken. Double-team maneuver on the horizon. 
Oh, what on earth? A DDT wheelbarrow suplex. And Alexander showcasing his arsenal. Cedric working at a peak level right now. some more punishment. Cedric Alexander! I think the champ's got it. Cover! Oh, yeah. Let's just... The tag team champions retain. Tag teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. sports and sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork.
Gentlemen, Hulkamania is about to run wild. There is only one, the Immortal. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 302 pounds. Who can? So between WCW and WWE, Hogan has had double-digit world title reigns. Not to mention he's a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name in the business in the 80s and 90s. hasn't even begun yet. Don't you know, Corey, Hogan feeds off the energy from the WWE Universe. It's going to power him through this match. And by the way, what you going to do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? That's pretty good, right? No, terrible. At least you and Hogan have the same hairline. <laughs> And his opponent, accompanied by his special counsel, Paul Heyman, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! The man who upholds the Anawai family legacy by any means necessary. Roman Reigns always in tremendous physical condition, probably the best shape of his career, but now more dangerous, more dominant, and more focused than ever. Will not relinquish his seat at the head of the table for anyone. Roman Reigns looking to continue expanding his empire. Protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. A main eventer since day one, but now is tougher than ever. You can feel it when Hogan enters the ring. There is no more powerful force in WWE than Hulkamania. Wow, the goosebumps are forming all over my skin, Michael. I'll admit, the Hulkamania is running through my veins. You can see the adrenaline fueling Hulkster as we get underway. And then there's Roman Reigns, who comes into this match with the same smug confidence we've come to expect from him. You'd be smug, too, if you were Roman Reigns. He's a powerhouse superstar who tends to get whatever he wants. And tonight, he wants to win. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Hogan's able to avoid that. Shoulder into the midsection. Over the years, we've seen Roman Reigns display near superhuman resilience. Corey, how do you combat an opponent who seems... Set to the outside. Looking for his next form of attack. Caught by Sula Cena. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Stiff kick. Dodges. Up on the shoulders.
bad predicament right here. Uh-oh. Oh. Five. Whatever's playing here Six. can't be good. Oh, bruising attack to the body. Seven. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Reigns heads up, this is gonna be good. Take off. Ooh. Ooh, stinging kick. Hogan getting out of harm's way. Slam. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Into the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Reigns had that scouted. Oh. I'm on their shoulders. Down in a hurry. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Yeah. Oh, mounted with punches. And not a oh, nasty stop to finish it off. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, no three. And set him up. Oh, oh. Need a That's gonna hurt. Oh. Attack to the midsection. Oh, what a counter. Oh. for the Hulkster. Let's take another look. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! It's all over, Reigns stands victorious. He said he would do it. Get used to seeing it. The Roman Empire grows as Reigns continues to conquer his opposition.